I'm Kelly Johnson, live in Bentonville, and I was inside the courtroom today for opening arguments. Let's get you caught up on this case quickly here. It was Thanksgiving week 2012. Police say that Zachary Hawley went into six year old Jersey Bridgman's Bentonville home, took her from her bed to an empty home nearby, raped her, and then strangled her to death with her own pajama pants. Her body was found in that house shortly after her mom called 911 when she was missing that next morning. Police have questioned Zachary Hawley, and on his third interrogation, they say that he confessed. Hawley has pleaded not guilty to the charges, but as we found out in court today, his attorneys are not disputing the case. This is Zachary Hawley walking into Benton County Court this morning. Our cameras were not allowed inside. The prosecution started opening statements by giving the jury a timeline of events. All the while, Jersey's kindergarten school photo hung in sight. The attorneys stated that Jersey's mom, Desiree Crouch, and Zachary and his wife, Amanda Hawley, were best friends. They say Jersey and her sister, Leah, went to the Hawley's home after school on November 19, 2012. Hawley's attorneys say they know Hawley kidnapped, had sexual contact with, and caused Jersey's death that night. They also said that he must be held responsible for what he did. The prosecution played videos from all three of Holly's questionings at the station, and they also made note that Holly could not spell his own middle name and could not recall his address when police questioned him. Police say he may suffer from a lower mental ability than most. Holly was given a mental evaluation before trial started and was found to be mentally fit. And if prosecutors are seeking the death penalty if Zachary Hawley is convicted in this case. The first witness to take the stand today, early this morning, was Jersey Bridgman's mom, Desiree Crouch. She was able to keep her composure when people asked her about herself and her job, but she broke down and cried whenever attorneys showed pictures of Jersey and her bedroom and some of her favorite things. Tonight, Hawley is in the Benton County Jail, where he has been since his arrest in 2012. Coming up a little bit later in the newscast, I'll tell you where this trial goes from here. In the meantime, I'm live in Bentonville. Kelly Johnson, 4029 News.